everyone welcome back to my channel paper sweets thank you for joining me today hope you're having a great weekend for today's video i'll be sharing a mini album that i created for fancy pants designs and i did use the bloom and grow collection kit from fancy pants so these are all of the pattern papers that come in the in this collection so it's really cute, it's a garden theme, and um, like this page here has all the cute little gardening tools and plants and things. And this one here is so cute, it's got little seed packs, seed packets, and little bird houses, and it also comes with this ephemera here, and some enamel dots that match the collection. So this is what I used for the mini album. And I also used this uh, We Are Memory Keepers pocket punch board that I picked up recently at Tuesday morning. It was $12.99. And after using it, I think it's just really easy. And um, I think the pockets are so cute. And you can create like lots of different sizes. As you can see here for um, like mini albums and things. I like this sample they have here so you can create two different types of pockets with this one is like a, a notched pocket that's open up at the top with the notch cut out and then the other one is more of a, like a policy envelope that closes up at the top and like I said you can make a couple different sizes so this was really fun to use and here's my little mini album so I did use the seed packet uh, pattern paper because I just, I thought this was the prettiest one <laughs> in the collection. I just, I love the colors and the design of the little seed packets. So um, that's what I used on the cover. And um, I also used a couple of other Coco and Reno die sets for this vellum piece here. It's hard to see, but... I cut out a little vellum doily using the nesting doily set from Coco and Reno and then I added some tool, some splatter tool on top of that and then some of the ephemera, the little garden boots, hat, and the sticker that says timeless. And then in the ephemera pack there was um, some of the little seed packets um, so I used those and just popped them up on the foam dots and then here's some of the enamel dots. So then um, I just created this little like flap closure and I did make it smaller like um, well not as big as the mini album cover and for the top here I love how this turned out um, and I pretty much got the idea from Bambi Deer she uses a lot of rolled flowers on her mini albums and I always love how that looks so I made a couple of rolled flowers and added them to the top of this mini album. And I used another Coco and Reno die set, the rolled flowers die set, to make these. And then just tucked in some leaves here and there. And then the, these leaves are actually um, from another die that I used on the inside of the album. So these popped out of the leaves and they were perfect to kind of tuck in between the rolled flowers so you it just closes with velcro and then it just opens up like this so for this front um flap the inside of the um of the cover i made another little pocket and just tucked in some some tags this is that the leaf die where i use the negative um on the top of the mini album so this is a die from in love art shops for this leaf and then i added some of the ephemera it says bloom and then i love this little strawberry i wish it came with more of these so cute and the little bees too so i added those some enamel dots there and then just tucked these into the pocket and so here's the first little page um and like I said, I just uh, did the notched um, little pocket using the punch board. And this one here says, grow through what you go through. So I thought that was cute and just added more ephemera. And for each of the tags that go in the pockets, I added a little charm. This one has a little B. And these tags are all just um, the same um, pattern paper, just uh, flipped around. And then this one here, I didn't do much decorating to 
the pocket yet so I decorated the tag a little bit more and I added a little flower charm and just added a little rake and the basil plant and some enamel dots to the tag and this one here since it was the wood grain paper um, I really like how the little nest looks like it would be tucked in a tree and then I cut up another uh, one of the ephemera pieces into strips and it's just the definition of a nest and for this little tag I added a leaf charm and this is um just kind of temporary it's from um, one of the trims but I know that I have like a metal leaf charm somewhere in my stash so I'm planning to switch that out once I find it <laughs> I couldn't find it and then I added the little squirrel at the bottom of this tag and um, for this paper since it was the birdhouse one I added the ephemera that says bless our nest and just um, some of the tool underneath that and the little lovebirds on top and then this little tag got a bird charm for my stash so whole little bird theme on that one and then this one here is the last one and I just added the word grow with some tool underneath and I decorated the tag a little bit more on this one too I added the tree and then um, I wanted it to look like it was an apple tree kind of so I added the red um, enamel dots to that and a little mouse at the bottom and then I found a little apple charm in my in with my beads so I added the little apple charm to that tag and then here's um, the back cover with just another leaf die cut and for this one I figured I could use it like as a background if I want to do some journaling or add a small picture then um, the, that one would be kind of like partially covered up and it just closes back up like this and there's my little mini album and it's it is a little wonky <laughs> standing but that's because I didn't you know because there's nothing on the sides to really stabilize it but I still think it turned out really cute and I like um, like you know how you can see the little pockets through the sides and uh, loving the rolled flowers on the top so there's my little mini album let me know what you guys think, and I'll link um, all the information for Fancy Pants Designs in the uh, description box below. Thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.